Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options. Happy Monday, everyone. Let's go ahead and get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. It The date is February 10th, 2020. Let's take a look at what's going on here in the market. A little bit of concern on Friday. As you can see, we left behind um, an evening star pattern here on the diamonds on Friday. Just a little bit of selling, a little bit of profit taking, not a huge surprise after such a strong move up, just to run into a little bit of price resistance here in the chart, a little backing away as we ran into the weekend and the concerns um, surrounding the coronavirus and how that might impact things over the weekend now what did happen well coronavirus um, um, certainly continue to expand um, now over 900 deaths over 40,000 folks infected um, the cruise ship that is has been quarantined um, continues to um, grow in the numbers of those affected there are now 14 Americans on that uh, boat that have the virus and um, Britain has, has added four new cases and we're just uh, this thing just continues to evolve and grow so um, over um, uh, where where the most impact is obviously in China um, they are trying to resume some business today but by far the majority of businesses have suggested they will remain closed until uh, March 1 at least at this point which is creating more concerns about supply chain problems and things like that going on over there that will affect our businesses even our technology companies are worried about being able to be able to get parts and and build the products that they need to uh to continue their revenues so kind of an interesting situation growing here and a little bit more concern uh seems to be coming into the market today and when I say that, we have futures that are virtually flat, um, looking at pretty much a flat open this morning. And although trends um, continue to hold and try to hold up strong, that bearish pattern that was left behind on Friday um, brings us a little bit of pause. So we we'll want to watch that pretty closely to see, um, you know, which one uh, will the bulls win this, the bears win this. And we have several things, obviously, that could move this market significantly in the bullish favor. And that is a huge week of earnings reports coming up. Um, over 500 companies will be reporting earnings this week. And we know the markets have been very inspired by those um, reports this time. But one thing that started Starting to maybe show itself is the short-term response to these earnings may not be able to begin to outweigh the concerns of supply chain issues and um, slowdown, economic slowdown that may occur as uh, this uh, virus outbreak continues to add pressure to the market. So we'll want to consider that carefully. So. When you're planning your day today, plan for just about anything. We could see tremendous price volatility still. We should expect for large gaps um, in the morning opens. We should um, also plan that this could go either direction. So um, it's going to be kind of an interesting morning this morning. We're going to have to watch very carefully, kind of set aside our bias, really focus on the price action of the chart, and be careful, be very, very careful not to overtrade this market because of the whips that can occur very, very quickly on uh, news reports. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also left behind a bit of an evening star type pattern. As you can see here, I get the right tool. Um, that evening star type pattern up here where we have that, that little bit of failure going on. Now, if we take a look right here, 
and pull this across, we ended up holding on to that little price support, just barely holding on to that price support in the SPY. So we have that failure pattern right at a price support or price resistance area. And this morning we're looking at just a little bit of um, softness here in the market. We're going to open about where we closed here. Uh, maybe just a little bit positive um, on the SPY. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely if we begin to fail on down. The thing that concerns me the most is if we start to see failure, these big open gaps, that if we slip into these big open gaps, how quickly we might uh, drift lower. So watch those closely. Both the diamonds and the SPY have massive gaps that could easily kind of draw that price down in there and once we hit those gaps we could move lower pretty quickly so just keep that in mind and watch that pretty closely let's look at the Q's now the Q's held up the strongest it is the strongest index out there right now and Friday they really were pushing hard you know um, Amazon um, obviously big tech big weighted tech in the Nasdaq they pushed that up they also pushed up Microsoft and when that occurred um, that helped to hold the uh, Nasdaq itself up and produce a much better pattern than the others out there and actually just kind of settling into a bit of a consolidation here one thing I will say however is that the the Nasdaq appears to be very extended and um, any stumble along the way in any of these earnings could really create that quick sell-off but there's not as much worry here about a big gap right behind um, this price we could drift down into here and still be um, at a support level in the chart this gap um, below would be a significant sell-off if that were to occur. So right now, NASDAQ definitely the strongest of the indexes. If we take a look at IWM, IWM is obviously on the other side of that spectrum and the weakest of the indexes, producing a lower high, which gives us the possibility of that downtrend. Remember, we had that high, lower low here we created and that first breakdown now we've created a lower high and if this were to travel on through to another lower low um, we obviously have a fully constructed downtrend so the warning signs are here on IWM now I placed a price support level right across here in the chart and you can see we were really dancing around that area here at the close trying to hold on to it um, right at the close of the day trying to hang on to that price support so if that were to fail on through and give up um, let's be pretty watchful of what goes on here in IWM it could kind of pull us a little bit lower let's take a look at the VIX now the VIX, what's interesting is it has had a real muted response here the last few days. And that muted response, a little bit of calming maybe coming into the market. But as you can see, we did rally a little bit on Friday on that sell-off. Um, just by the end of the day, we saw that pullback holding below that price resistance right there in the chart. But we want to recognize that we're still holding above this downtrend. And um, if we find some additional things to react to in the market, it wouldn't be a big stress for that to pop back through. However, I still think it's a good positive thing for the market if we can hold down in this area below this price resistance, hold in here a consolidation, a rest, or even a little more pullback would be a positive thing for the market to see that uh, fear kind of uh, be under control here for a while. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 had a lot of whip in it recently. Um, we went it from in just three days we went from oversold to overbought and in on Friday we dropped dramatically here. Now what's interesting about this is we dropped so much dramatic so much but we didn't see um, that major of an impact in the indexes. And what that tells you is we still have the big um, 
um, weighted companies holding up well while other companies are slipping back um, we're continuing to hold or show a lot of strength in some of these heavy weighted companies that are holding up pretty well so let's keep a close eye on this um, there is certainly that possibility Remember, T2122 doesn't give us direction, but it tells us we still have a pretty sizable opening to move lower. And of course, that pullback on Friday gives us that very sizable upside opening to the if we can find that inspiration. Remember, um, even if we get some upside inspiration, we have seen fewer and fewer companies holding this market up. So kind of keep that in mind. We could see the market actually improve in value, but see T2122 continuing to decline. So watch that pretty closely. It just suggests the breadth of the, of the market is weakening overall here. And we're going to have to pay attention to that as these uh, virus concerns continue to kind of grow. Um, out there. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has almost nothing for us to react to today. Um, on that calendar, as you can see, there really is nothing going on. We've got T-bills and we got the TD Ameritrade and IMX, which doesn't move the market at all. So kind of keep that in mind but a couple of things we want to make note of is we have jerome powell speaking twice this week um we'll want to always pay attention to that because he can move the market around certainly depending on how he um, talks about he, um, market conditions whether it be um, hawkish or dovish the market can certainly react to that keep in mind that as the week goes on we do have some big numbers coming up later in the week cpi retail sales industrial production um, lots of lots of reports coming up that could move the market but not until later in the week so Jerome Powell will be kind of on deck and could move us around we'll have to wait and see if he is going to inspire the market or disappoint the market we'll we'll have to wait or we could learn absolutely nothing from what he says and nothing new um we have a on the earnings uh, calendar we have about 100 companies a little over 100 companies reporting earnings today and we'll want to pay attention to that as they are rolling out this morning pretty quickly and um in those earnings reports uh, companies like whoops um agn agn reporting this morning looks like it's gapping up slightly um b i p reporting today no report there bid ask spread still very very wide um all of those golfers out there could pay attention to callaway callaway looks like uh well i can't really tell looks like it hasn't reported yet we'll want to watch that uh dba will be reporting today we're going to get reports from jcom That'll probably be this afternoon if I'm right. I think that's this afternoon that that reports. We've got Lowe's reporting. Looks like Lowe's, wow, uh, bid ask spread is crazy on this. So still a pending report here on Lowe's, it looks like. Um, MELI, MELI reporting today. We'll want to watch that. And quite a few others, as you can see um will be reporting so a lot of potential reports moving the market around um, so far those reports have been able to provide inspiration for a lot of move up and i don't expect those to, that to really change all that much what what i kind of wonder is whether or not the um the company's re reports are going to continue to inspire as the weight of this virus um, situation begins to grow um, on the market. So we'll want to um, just be really, really careful here and very flexible, um, staying focused to that price action um, as we move along. So with that, everyone, 
If this is the first time you happen to have seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Hopefully you're seeing that the purpose of these videos has nothing to do with predicting anything. It has everything to do with trying to put some balance into your thoughts for the morning and helping you to um, um, formulate a, a, uh, an unemotional plan on how you want to approach the market for the day. It's so easy to get caught up in the drama and the emotion of a market open and end up making very bad decisions. And I can tell you, I was one of the worst offenders of that years and years ago. But uh, this preparation work has helped me and kept me um, in a great um, a, a great place, um, allowing me to trade full time for the last 15 years. And um, I got to tell you, if if you find this helpful, um, if you see uh, any benefit to these videos, if you could please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that helps an awful lot in us reaching out and, and, and helping other folks with this same information. So with that, let's take a look at some um, companies that could be setting up some, some price action that um, show some potential in some charts. But please remember that every time I show a, a stock in these videos, it's not meant as a recommendation to buy or sell any security, something you might want to put on a watch list, something you might want to pay attention to and prepare, but not exactly that trade that's going to, um, or that stock that is ready to trade just yet. I, I drew up a little bit um, here on um, Aflac, seeing a little bit of bouncing around in here at Aflac. And on Friday, this actually was a lot more bullish candle here um, when I looked at this earlier. What I'm watching for is that potential that Aflac could pop through that resistance. Right now, really un, uh, uncertain on this chart and and the volatility in it with these big candle swings a little bit uncertain but if that can actually break through there and hold above um, that resistance area there may be some opportunity coming in Aflac so placed an alert on that chart I don't know whether that is going to have any chance of performing but one I want to pay attention to might want to take a look at SPLK SPLK holding up very well here as you can see we've got this nice little trend going on and the chart broke through this resistance and now we're just resting up here now keep in mind this can continue to consolidate across over here toward uh, that trend before it goes that's a fairly common thing that this stock does it finds its way back to trend so we want to watch that pretty carefully you can see i've placed a price alert here in the chart that little pink line is a price alert and i'm watching that carefully if that can move um, across over here for that next opportunity to move up splk looking pretty decent um, here in that chart another one spce spce very nice looking chart similar pattern as you can see breaking through up here and now we're holding this little bit of price support right here we're struggled with this resistance high but we're holding that price support and setting up and just kind of sliding over here toward that trend so we'll want to watch that closely if that finds that inspiration and pops out by the way i want to make sure and re uh, remind everyone that even though these patterns are setting up we want to be really really careful with all of the earnings reports that can certainly change things pretty quickly in a chart so watch for those earnings reports. But up until that time, these have some great opportunity. How about BBY? Now BBY is a little bit different pattern. One of the things that I always look for in a trade is I never wanna be buying um, into a position when we have not proven support. So for example here, we were moving down in this downtrend. You can see we broke support here, but immediately rallied back with that big bullish move in the market now I don't want to chase this move here I want proof that we're going to break that downtrend we're going to hold it as support and then see buyers step in that there is the absolute definition of the beginning of a trend we make that higher high 
we hold a higher low and we look for buyers. That is a resumption of trend. So that's what I'm watching for here in BBY to see if it can produce that. I can't tell you that it will. Won't even come close to telling you I can predict what's gonna happen here. Just that it's a good potential setup and one I wanna be paying attention to. You can see a very similar situation over here where you can see where we broke the trend rallied back up i don't want to chase this move i want to wait for that resting pullback and i want to look for my entry there for those easy winning trades so that's what i'm waiting for here um let's take a look at shopify shopify has held up really really strong and you can see on friday trying to push up and break through that resistance again Shopify does not seem to have any um, sellers in there. Now keep in mind it's got earnings coming up this week, just a couple of days, so it's going to make it very, very difficult to trade, but one that we could pay attention to and watch. You know, beverage companies seem to be doing very, very well. Monster holding up strongly could be setting up for a potential trade, as you can see, sliding over here toward its trend. Coca-Cola holding up very, very strong in its trend. Uh, PepsiCo also holding up very strong. Those are stocks that you might want to have on your list, and they're also defensive sector stocks, those areas that may be just a little bit of concern uh, coming into those trades. So I'm running out of time here, guys. I had quite a few more stocks to look at, but just keep in mind that we could go either direction here today uh, pretty easily. We've got just uh, just enough uh, pressure right now uh, from the virus concerns causing you know just that little bit of tension here and we'll want to pay very close attention um, to how we respond right now Dow futures are now pointing lower we're looking at a 50 point move lower at the open right now as we continue to bounce around so a little bit of back and forth here we're gonna have to be really careful be very flexible and um, try not to over trade um, because it can be very damaging to your account with this kind of uncertainty out there everyone I want to wish you all the very best have a great day and we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning.